and welcome to another level 3 video this time we're going to talk about beta curves in this video I'm going to introduce you to the uh, laboratory valley beta and in subsequent videos I'll go through each of the beta curves one by one this is a plan view of the beta uh, with all the relevant parts uh, labeled so as you can see there we've got the beta tub itself you've got the beta roll on the beta roll are the bars or knives as some people call them because they're on the beta roll and the beta roll is turning we call those fly knives because they're flying around the beta roll sits on a bed plate and there are knives on the bed plate as well uh, the as you can see from the arrow in the top diagram the stock is circulating around it gets pulled underneath the beta roll and then it gets thrown out of the back of the beta roll so the area where it gets thrown out is known as the backfall and of course we've got the wall that runs down the uh, the middle of the beta and as all my uh, sort of face-to-face -face students know this is one of my favorite words in paper making this is called a mid feather this is a picture of a standard laboratory beta and here's one where we've taken the lid off so you can see the beta roll there and you can see the knives so the stock goes underneath comes out the other side and around again for safety health and safety purposes there's always a lid on top of there so that we can't get our hands in these are the classic beta curves that were, that were developed and what i'm going to do in the next set of videos is take each one of these curves one by one and talk you through it so a summary of uh, this video, the Valley Beta was a classic piece of pulp valuation equipment. All mills used to have them at one time and they used to sample and test not just uh, new types of fibres but uh, delivery by delivery. We disperse the fibres in water, we take samples at regular intervals. With that sample we determine its, its shopper eagle wetness value and then we go on to make a hand sheet and then we uh, dry it, condition it, measure the physical properties. And that's what I'll be talking about in the next set of videos. Thank you for listening. And if you want to follow us on any of this social media, please do so.